Rob Bingham here. Uh, just been doing some work on my V control with macro cells so that we can limit when the switch glow operates uh, so that it only works in about the bottom 30% of the throttle uh, signal output and also only while you're in bank one so that uh, you eliminate the, any risks of a hot start. So it will basically show you then um, my motor and uh, my motor here, yeah, motor run. I'm in bank one and then I can to go for my glow switch, which is here. If I was to lift the throttle up now, my glow stops, pull the glow throttle back down. So it's working there, absolutely fine in bank one. If I now go into bank two or bank three, as you can bank see two. now the servo goes into where it be on governor mode. Um, so there's my plus 100, minus 100. Now if I go for it, so stick at the bottom, if I go for my glow now, nothing there and it doesn't matter where that throttle stick is moved same with bank two bank three bank three sorry nothing's working i've got to go bank back to one. bank one and there's my glow my glow was still switched on uh the glow obviously only runs i think it's 12 seconds and, the, and it cuts it back off again uh the glow switch has actually got built into it a pwm signal that you can mix using a normal transmitter uh whereby you can mix a channel to limit throw so using other brands doesn't have to be with v-control with the with the macro cells but other brands of transmitters um, and fly ballast units could be used as well where you can uh, mix a channel to it so that if it sees a certain throttle percentage or above a throttle percentage the switch glow has got the built-in facility that it won't operate above a certain a certain range but certainly with v-control the simplest way is using macro cells for it um, I will do a how-to uh, post with, with uh, showing each of the macro cells, so each of the pages in here, where these are, um, so that I can actually uh, do the setup for, you know, show people how to do the setup um, and what I've used. So down in here, and then there's some other ones a bit further on. Over here, I've used 31 and 32. Um, uh, yes, so I'll do a, a rundown on how to get it all to work and a big thank you to both Carl Dahl and Rainer Vetter for their input on this, uh, helping me try and understand macro cells a bit better. Okay, cheers for now.